Hey there, how's it going? David in Arc here, and I need your help because I can't help you if you don't help me help you. All right, so let's jump into what I'm talking about. Uh, especially after the last update, I understand a lot of things don't work. First and foremost, anytime there's an update, mods are going to break. Period. End of story. If your mod doesn't work and it used to work, then it's because of the update. And all you can do is hope that the mod creator fixes the mod. And that's it. I mean, that's the end of the story. Short of it. Can you play around and you try to fix it yourself? Absolutely. You can get into the JSON files, etc. Mess around and try to fix it. But long story short, mods are going to break. That's the end of that. Okay, moving on. I am getting a lot of folks, though, who are watching some of my tutorial videos, things like missing radial menu, uh, where the little circle menu doesn't come up in the middle of BeamNG. Uh, I'm also getting folks who say, well, I downloaded a mod, and the folder shows up in my mods folder because I put it there, but when I go into the game, the mod doesn't show up. I can appreciate that, but I need your help with that. You need to tell me, what is the name of the mod? Where did you get the mod? Are you running other mods? As much information as you can give me so that I can help troubleshoot because we're not doing this live. This is not a live thing, right? You're watching my video, then you comment back, then I have to comment back, then you have to comment back. That's a very slow process in terms of trying to help you get over whatever is the problem with uh, your game. Um, but I'm going to start with a couple of things first and foremost, anytime there's anything wrong with the game, whether the radial menu isn't showing up, a mod's not working, what have you. First and foremost, start the game in safe mode. Try it in safe mode and see if that fixes it. If that fixes it, then you know the problem has to do with mods or some kind of settings or something, and at that point you can start troubleshooting. If you have an issue with a particular mod, then... Again, you can start in safe mode, enable just the one mod you want to work or you want to try anyway, and see if it works. If the mod works by itself, then that means you have another mod that is conflicting with the one you're trying to use. If none of that works, then I've got multiple videos on going into your mods folder, moving slash deleting everything that's in there so that it's a clean mods folder, or you can even just rename the folder for that matter. BeamNG will recreate one and then put your mods in back one at a time. I know, you got 252 mods and putting one at a time is a pain in the butt. Yeah, that, troubleshooting's a pain in the butt. That's how it works. So uh, you're, you wanna try that. Uh, short of all of those things, or, or not short of those things, after you've done those things, then one of the other things you wanna try is do a file integrity check. And again, yes, I know the game is huge and it takes a long time to do an integrity check. But guess what? There's a reason why the file integrity check works or at least works in most cases. And so you'll go into your Steam and do a file integrity check. Speaking of that, if you didn't get your game from Steam, if you got it from anywhere else, and I don't care if you paid for it, you pirated it, whatever. If you're playing BeamNG and you didn't get it from Steam, I'm sorry, I can't help you. I have the Steam version. I've only known the Steam version. So there are forums that you can reach out to in uh, you know on the BeamNG website. So feel free to ask folks and say, hey, I got the XYZ version, downloaded it from over here many moons ago. It's not the Steam version. What do I do? And there will be people that can help you. Um, unfortunately, again, I can't really help you with that. Uh, I can only help you with what I know. And again, to that end, the more information that you can provide to me in your comments, the better off we are going to be and the easier it's going to be for me to replicate the problem because that's the big issue. If I don't have the problem and you're having the problem, then I have to be able to replicate that or at least try to replicate that so that I can get a feel for what you're seeing and what you're experiencing so that then maybe I can help troubleshoot what's going on in BeamNG. I hope this all makes sense, and uh, I, I hope, please don't feel like I'm, you know, nagging at people or whatever. I'm not, that's not my intent here. My intent is to get help from you in order for me to help you. So anytime you're doing some troubleshooting, anytime you're having some trouble, please provide as much information as you can so that I can turn around, take that information, attempt to use it, and replicate the problem and then figure out what's going on. Even if I can't replicate the problem, sometimes though, by you giving me the information, I can go get whatever file it is, whether it's a map or a car or whatever, I can look through those files and go, oh yeah, I see what the problem here is. 
and you know here's how we can fix this or i can even possibly see why you might be experiencing the problem and somebody else might not or i don't want to say worst case scenario but it could be a situation where together we kind of you know figure out okay yeah this is definitely a, an actual game issue and at that point we can take it to the forums where the official devs hang out i'm not an official dev i have nothing to do with the game i just enjoy playing it and I, I enjoy messing around in the files and figuring stuff out. So <laughs> that's welcome to my channel. Um, but we can reach out to the devs and other folks that have been using the game since day one and say, hey, look, this is what's going on. Anybody got any idea how to fix this? So again, the more information you can give me, then the better off we will be in order for me to help you figure out what the problem is. So as always, thank you so, so much for watching. I am absolutely loving everything that you guys are sharing. Um, the comments that are coming in are absolutely wonderful. Again, we just need a little bit more information when it comes to troubleshooting. Hope you guys are having a great day. I, I hope that uh, you and, and your family and or whoever your loved ones are, are enjoying this holiday season and hope that you have a, a Merry Christmas and or whatever other uh, holiday activities that you celebrate in your family thank you so much for watching i'm david and arc we'll see you next time have a great day